no one can tell where your heart is. Empty, you could. Nobody can see my meltdown, except for me. Just relax. Stop torturing yourself. You have a gift. Fuck it. When a door closes, a window opens. Or something like that. Okay, girl, you don't get a photo op like this every day. Cool, Nathan. <laughs> Don't stress. You, you're okay, bro. Just come to three. Don't be scared. You own this school. If I wanted, I could blow it up. <laughs> you're the boss. So what do you want? I hope you check the perimeter, as my step-ass would say. Now, let's talk business. I got nothing for you. Wrong. You got hella cash. That's my family, not me. Oh, boo-hoo, poor little rich kid. I know you've been pumping drugs and shit to kids around here. I bet your respectable family would help me out if I went to them. Man, I can see the headlines now. Leave them out of this bitch! I can tell everybody Nathan Prescott is a punk ass who begs like a little girl and talks to himself. You don't know who the fuck I am or who you're messing around with. Where'd you get that? What are you doing? Come on, put that thing down! Don't ever tell me what to do! I'm so sick of people trying to control me! You are going to get in hella more trouble for this than drugs! Nobody would ever even miss your punk ass, would they? Get that gun away from me, psycho! No! Whoa! What the fuck? How? How can that be? I was in the bathroom. He shot that poor girl. I held up my hand. And then I was back here. Yes, he likely was. These pieces of time can frame us in our I already heard this lecture. From light to shadow. From color. Now Kate is being hassled again. And if Victoria's phone rings. This is real. Now, oh, shit. can you give me an example of a Man, photographer I cannot believe who this. captured the human condition in black and white? Okay, if I'm crazy, I might as well go all the way. Bueller. Diane. Can I actually reverse time? Go, Victoria. Why Arvis? Can you give me I an actually did a photographer it. who perfectly captured the human, human time machine? Black and white? Anybody? Bueller? Max, Diane. don't freak out. Not yet. There you go, Victoria. Why Arvis? Because of her Keep it together, Max. You feel like totally what is going on? Nothing has moved. When I took my selfie, Jefferson so asked me a question. Right? If he does Frank again, I'll know this is for real. Keep that to yourself. Seriously, though. I believe Max has taken what you kids call a selfie. A dumb word for a wonderful photographic tradition. And Max has a gift. I know I'm not of dreaming course, this. As you all know, the it's photo real. portrait has been popular I can since tell. the early 1800s. Your generation So I can go back in time. for selfie expression. What if that girl so isn't dead yet? I couldn't resist. The point Can remains I save that her? the portraiture has always been a vital aspect of art and photography for I need to go to the bathroom quickly and check it out. Now, Max, since you've captured our interest and clearly want to join the conversation, can you please tell us the name of the process that gave birth to the first self 
portraits. I'm sorry, but I really have to use the bathroom. Nice try, Max. But you're not gonna get away that easy. We can talk more after class. Is there anybody oh, here shit. who knows their stuff? Jefferson wants to keep me he after class. A French painter. And I need time to save that girl. Types? A process that gave portraits a sharp reflective style like a mirror. Now you're totally stuck in the retro zone. Sad face. Very good, Victoria. What if I rewind the again process, and give him the right answer? Out fine detail in people's fate. Max, since you've captured our interest and clearly want to join the conversation, can you please tell us the name of the process that gave birth to the first self-portraits? The Daguerrean process, invented by a French painter named Louis Daguerre around 1830. Somebody has been reading as well as posing. Nice work, Max. <sighs> the Daguerrean process made portraiture hugely popular mainly because it gave the subjects clear defined features. You can learn more when you actually finish reading the assigned chapters. Max is so far way ahead of everyone. And guys, don't forget the deadline to submit a photo in the Everyday Heroes contest. I'll fly out with the winner to San Francisco where you'll be feted by the art world. It's great exposure and it can kickstart a career in photography. So Stella and Alyssa, get it together. Taylor, don't hide. I'm still waiting for your entry too. And yes, Max, I see you pretending not to see me. Max, you are not crazy. You are not dreaming. It's time to be an everyday hero. Yes, Victoria, you still have to do your homework this week. Even if you're submitting your photo for the competition every Nice answer, Max. Are you okay? You look pale. Kate, um, did we talk at all today? This is the first time. What's wrong? I'm sorry, I'm just tripping. Too much stress. I know the feeling. And I want to represent Blackwell Academy. You have just I wish we didn't. I do have to go, but we can talk later if you want. I'll see how I feel. This is just a Thanks, Max. I don't want anybody to feel excluded from this process, but I also want everybody to know that this photographic world is not- Excuse me, Mr. Jefferson, can I talk to you for a moment? Yes, excuse you. No, Victoria, excuse us. I'd never let one of photography's future stars avoid handing in her picture. Uh, yeah, I'm not sure I have one. Given your selfie output, I'm sure you must have about a thousand pics by now. It'll take a long time to find a good one. Max, don't wait too long. John Lennon once said that life is what happens while you're busy making other plans. Go on now. Don't let me stop you. is not for everybody. I had my moment in hmm. the camera eye and... Interesting. Every Excuse me, Mr. Jefferson, can I talk to you for a moment? Yes. Excuse you. No, Victoria. Excuse us. I'd never let one of photography's future stars avoid handing in her picture. I'm on top of it. I think John Lennon once said that life is what happens while you're busy making other plans. Max, you're on fire today. All the right answers. Good. Make sure you finish working on it by today. I have faith in you. Woo! Man, school would be so much easier if you could do this. <laughs> I hope I have enough time to get to the bathroom. Please, please. Oops. What oh, button? Okay, Max, retrace every step. I washed my face. I shredded my photo. Then the butterfly flew in. And I took a photo. 
Leave them out of this bitch. I can tell everybody Nathan Prescott is a punk ass who begs like a little girl and talks to himself. You don't know who the fuck I am or who you're messing around with. Where'd you get that? What are you doing? Come don't on, put that thing down. Tell me what to do. Wow. I'm so I sick. need a hammer to break it open. To control me. You are going to get in hella more trouble for this than drugs. Nobody would ever even miss your punk ass, would they? Get that gun away from me, psycho! Holy shit, I can't let this happen. If I can reverse time again, I can help her. Going to get in hella more trouble for this than drugs. Nobody would ever even miss your punk ass, would they? Get that gun away from me, psycho! Oh. Ever even miss your punk ass, would they? No way. Don't ever touch me again, freak! Another shitty day. That did not happen. This cannot be real. I just saw a girl get shot and then saved her. What the fuck is going on? Do not freak out. Hey, do you hear that fire alarm? That means you should be outside. I had to use the bathroom. Girls always use that excuse. Excuse for what? For whatever you're up to. Your face is covered in guilt. The alarm tripped me out. Then trip on out of here, Missy. Or are you hiding something? Huh? Thank you, Mr. Madsen. The situation is under control. There's no emergency here. Leave Miss Caulfield alone and please turn off that alarm since that's your job. a little stressed out. Are you okay? I'm... I'm just a little worried about my future. You're sweating pinballs. Is that all you're thinking about? You can always be up front with me, Max. Or have you done something wrong? Is that it? Well, Max, talk to me. I just saw Nathan Prescott waving a gun around in the girls' room. Nathan Prescott. You sure? Yes. He was in the bathroom talking to himself with a gun. I saw everything. He was babbling like crazy. Okay, slow down. Slow down. So now you saw this without him seeing you. I was hiding behind a stall. I have the right to be there. It's the girls' room. I know. I know. I just want to be completely clear what happened. Mr. Prescott happens to be from the town's most distinguished family and one of Blackwell's most honored students. So it's hard for me to see him brandishing a weapon in the girls' bathroom. So what happened next? Then, then he left. I ran out here wondering what to do. Are you gonna bust him? This is a serious charge. I'll look into the matter personally. Thank you for bringing it to my attention. That's it? After what I told we'll you? We'll continue this discussion later in my office. Please go outside with the rest of your class now, Miss Caulfield. Of course this academic drone won't do anything since the Prescott family owns Blackwell now. Should I rewind and change my story? 